this video we're gonna continue looking at Factoring and we're gonna look at a method called Factoring by Grouping and I've got three e examples here to show you how we use this method and then I'll talk about the method in general and tell you when we should use this method so let's have a look at the first example here write it down yeah we've got more room ay plus 2b plus 2ab plus y what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this round a bit so I've got ay plus y plus 2b plus 2ab because Now what I can do is I can factor out a y from this first part and then I'm left with a plus 1 in brackets and this part here I've got a 2b common so I can factor out 2b and then I get 1 plus e and of course a plus 1 and 1 plus e are the same thing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so that's a common factor because those are both the same, a plus 1 plus and 1 plus a are the same and you can check that by putting in values of a and these are the things I've got multiplying them so we can put that into a second bracket so then I've got y plus 2b a plus 1 and you can multiply the, these out to see that we've got the right answer if you multiply this out you get a y plus y plus 2 a b plus 2 b which might be in a different order but it's the same as what we started with if you switch the terms around a bit and put the 2b there and everything back where it was it's the same so we can see by doing that that we'll factor it right so now let's have a look at the second example which is going to be x minus b minus x squared plus bx and what we'll get here is we'll rearrange it round again. So what we can do is we can factor out an x from these ones. Now I get 1 minus x. And from the second lot. Let's see what I'll factor out. I'll factor out uh, minus b, I think. Because then it will be the same. It'll look exactly the same as this one. I'll get 1 minus x. And then we can see that these are the same, so that's a common factor. And then I'll put the x minus b in another bracket so that's also common and again you can multiply out the brackets and we'll see that we'll get the same thing so I get x minus x squared minus b and then a minus b times a minus x is plus bx so we get the same, that's the same as what we've got there, we've just rearranged it, so we've factored that right. And now we'll look at the third example which is a bit more challenging. So it's 3a minus 3ab plus 3ac. 
plus 6 BC minus 6 C. Now in this fit, in this um, expression, I've got a common factor of the whole expression, so I'm going to take that out first, that's a 3. Just A minus AB plus 2BC minus 2C, I'm left with in here. And now just to make it easier for the same, I'm going to change these to square brackets. And I can factor both these parts separately. I've got an A common for the first one. So then I'm left with 1 minus B. And for the second one, let's see what we get. We've got, how about we take out a... C. And then we're left with B minus B there minus one. Then notice that isn't the same as that. But what I can do here is I can factor out a minus one. So what I get here is Working with this part, factor out a minus 1 from that, I get minus b plus 1. Then, what I can do is I can rearrange that, because that's a positive 1, I can move the 1 over there. And minus b there, which is the same as that. So now I've got them both the same. So now I must multiply this 2c by minus 1. So then I get a 1 minus b minus 2c 1 minus b. Then We can remove these brackets because we don't need these anymore. And we can put A minus 2C in a bracket because those are the extra two terms we've got. Those are both common factors of this other common factor, so the other factor is 1 minus B. And then what we'll do is we can multiply out these brackets. And say if we get the same thing back, so let's do that. I get A, and then I get minus AB, then I get minus 2C plus 2BC, and then multiplying all this by 3 again, I get 3A. Minus 3AB minus 6C plus 6BC. So that's the same as the expression that we started with. The terms are just in a different order. So again, we'll factor that right. And notice what I did to make these two terms the same. I used this technique here by factoring out a minus 1 and changing it to the same expression to make them both the same. So a general method is you group them, you put them into two brackets, you find a common factor of the first part and a common factor of the second part then you put those in a bracket and the other common factor in another bracket. And we use this method when we haven't got factors of the whole expression. So yeah, that's the method of factoring by grouping.